Hello, welcome to this lesson. In this video, you are going to solve this question I have on the screen. Okay, so for this question, I have already solved it using um, one method, okay, earlier and then. Um, in that video, um, I said that we are going to use about three or four methods to solve this question, okay. So this is the second method that we are going to use to solve this question. But the second method, it uses a... Um, what we know as the Vigonon's theorem, okay? The Vigonon's theorem. So this theorem states that uh, the moment of a force about any point is equal to the sum of the moment of the component of the force about the same point, okay? So that's what the Vigonon's theorem says. So I'm going to apply this to solve this question here. Okay, so we have this 600 Newton force here, and then um, since you're applying Vigonon's theorem, you will have to find the components of this force, okay? You will have to find the components of this force. And then, looking at this 40 degrees angle here, okay? You are going to have the components to be, you are going to have the S component, okay? And then the Y component, just like we have in this free body diagram here, okay? So, from that component, we can see that the Let's name this Fx, okay, and then, okay, they used F1 and then F2, so let's name this F2, okay, and then the S component should be F1, okay. So when I take cosine of that angle, 40 degrees, that will be called to the adjacent, right, which will be F1 over the hypotenuse, which is what, the 600 Newton. So I'm going to get the F1, okay, to be equal to 600 cosine of 40 degrees okay that will be the f1 and then when we find the f2 okay that will be equal to 600 sine of 40 degrees okay so that will be for the y component so now we know that the moment will be equal to force times what the perpendicular distance right so um so when we consider f1 okay f1 we are going to look at its line of action so this will be its line of action here and you are going to consider the perpendicular distance okay from the line of action of the force f1 to the point of rotation so this is the point of rotation and then the perpendicular distance from that point to okay from that point to the line of action of the force f1 okay that distance will be four meters okay so the moment of f1 the moment of f1 will be equal to 600 cosine of 40 degrees okay times 4 meters right now you know that this uh, will cause the the moment to uh, rotate in this direction okay and in this case you are going to consider the clockwise moment to be positive and then the counterclockwise to be negative okay so let's do it this way clockwise is positive and then counterclockwise will be negative okay so from here let's do the calculation and see what you're going to get so we have 600 cosine of 40 degrees okay 40 degrees multiplying for that gives us a value of 1838.5 newton meter okay so that's the moment for f1 okay which is the s component of the force so now let's find it for the y component of the force okay so for the y component also okay for the y component also let's go what you're going to do okay so for that one also let's indicate the line of action of the force Okay, so this is the force here, and then this will be the line of action of the force. Okay, and then you know that moment will be the force and the perpendicular distance, right? From the line of action of the force to the point of rotation. So that perpendicular distance here, okay, will be this distance here, okay, and then that will be two meters, okay, that will be two meters. So let's find that moment also, that will be MF2, okay, that's for the 
my component and then that's that is going to be uh, 600 sine 40 okay that also be a, a positive moment or a clockwise moment so that'll be sine 40 degrees okay multiplying two meters okay so let's do that and see what you're going to get so 600 sine 40 degrees multiplying two meters so that'll give us a value of 771.3 newton meter okay so from Vigno's term, it says that the moment of a force about any point is equal to the sum of the moment of the component of the force about the same point. So you found the um, the moment of the component of the force, okay, about that same point. Oh, so we are going to add this to get the total moment. We are going to have the moment about point O to be equal to mf1 plus mf2, okay mf2 okay so let's do this and see what you are going to get so when we do this we're going to have 1838.5 okay plus 771.3 so let's sum these two up and see what you are going to get so you have 1838.5 plus 771.3 so that gives us a value of 26 zero nine point eight okay so when you run this okay i'm going to get two six one zero okay point zero okay this is what you're going to get newton meter so this will be the moment about point oh 